There are a couple more things I'd like to show you when working with bombs. In the assembly section of this course, I mentioned how bills of material can be created in both the assembly file as well as the drawing file. If you find yourself using bombs in the assembly file, I'd like to show you how you can leverage the work you might have already done in the 3D assembly and use it in a 2D drawing. Now, just as a refresher, the process of adding a bomb in an assembly is almost the same as I would if this were a drawing by going to Insert, Table, Bill of Materials. Here I have a drawing already created for this assembly. If I want to reuse the same Bill of Materials table that was used in the assembly file, I can go to Insert, Table, Bill of Materials. I'll choose the assembly view on the drawing sheet to tell SOLIDWORKS which file the bomb should be associated with. Notice in the Property Manager, I have the option to create a new table or to copy an existing table. I'll choose to copy the assembly bomb. When I do, SOLIDWORKS also displays a checkbox asking me if I'd like this table to be linked to the assembly bomb. If you choose to link your bill of materials, all the data from the assembly bomb will be parametrically linked to the bomb in the drawing. Now you can still format the tables independently, such as the font size, color, height, and width, but the data included in the table will be linked. I'll make this a linked table. Click the check and click once more to place the table in the graphics area. If you decide later on that you want to unlink the bomb, simply click the upper left corner to select the entire table and bring up the property manager again. You can then uncheck the link checkbox to unlink the table. One important thing to remember, if you unlink a bomb, you cannot re-establish the link. But just as you saw a moment ago, it's a simple process to reinsert the bomb from the assembly file if you want the link back. There's one last thing I'll mention about the assembly bomb here. If you want control of what fields are listed in the table, this is from a setting found in the bomb properties of the assembly. Let me show you. I'll reopen the assembly, switch over to the configuration manager, I'll right-click on the default configuration and select Properties. This brings up the properties for this configuration. If I activate the Use in Build of Materials checkbox, the properties here will automatically be used in the Build of Materials.